The following NET program is available in high definition on NET HD. NET Sports, Nebraska's home for sports, is at the Coliseum on the campus of the University of Nebraska for the NSAA High School State Volleyball Championships. And in the Class C-1 state championship battle, it's a couple of traditional powerhouses in the state. Grand Island Central Catholic Crusaders taking on the Columbus Scotus Shamrocks. Hello again, everybody. I'm Larry Putney, along with former Husker Kathy Wieskamp. Great to have you with us, and I'm not really sure where to start here. There is so much tradition on the floor in this C-1 championship. Let's start with this. Between these two teams, they have scored off against each other seven different times with a state championship on the line. Let's take a look at uh, where these two teams hail from, and we'll begin with uh, Columbus Scotus. Shamrocks, you see 26 and 2, and Grand Island Central Catholic just a stone's throw at 32 and 3. Here's how they got here. Scotus knocked off Johnson County or St. Paul and Carney Catholic to get here. Grand Island Central Catholic beating Syracuse last night in straight sets and also swept by Bennington as well. Well, Kathy, we talked about history. Two great coaches. Two coaches have been around forever, and the records that these two teams have put up just litter the record the record list. As you look through the, the record list, their names, Columbus Scotus, Grand Island Central Catholic, is littered. They're at the top most times in the finals. Columbus Scotus, 18. Grand Island Central Catholic, 14. Columbus Scotus has 12 championships. Grand Island Central Catholic, six. It continues. They are here. They have a great respect for each other. Both two programs very well coached. Sharon Zavala, John Peterson, remarkable coaches. Danny Bussman has been able to witness what's going on in the pregame. She's down courtside. You know, watching these two teams warm up, they both have very similar styles, very similar styles of warm up. You can just tell they're very, very talented. Looks like they both have very good setters, good liberos, so it should be a very fast-paced, quick game today. Now yeah, we're looking for a great one. It's the C1 State Championship game coming up from the Coliseum on the campus of the University of Nebraska on NET Sports. Programming provided by Nebraska Public Power District. My job with Nebraska Public Power District takes me to new heights, offers me challenging experiences. Like me, the utility cares about Nebraska. I go home at night knowing that what I do makes a difference. To put it simply, I am where I want to be. Nebraska Public Power District, always there when you need us. Together with your local public power utility. Programming on NET television is made possible in part by U.S. Bank, fulfilling their commitment to serve customers wherever they are on their terms, providing a full range of banking services at 57 branch offices and more than 100 ATMs located conveniently across Nebraska. Wherever you go, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, you'll find us. This fall on PBS, Monday nights are for Antiques Roadshow. From the personal. I received it as a birthday present. To the political. This is a piece of history. From the random. Oh my goodness. To the rare. It's high on the top notch. Each has a past. Wow. It's incredible. And each has a price. Really? Oh my gosh. This fall, save your Mondays for Antiques Roadshow. Monday nights this fall, only on PBS. NET sports coverage of the Nebraska High School Volleyball Championships is being carried live over the internet. If you know friends or family who would like to watch today's events and they might not have access to NET1, have them log on to our network website, netnebraska.org. Click sports and follow the prompts to high school volleyball. They'll be able to watch all the action live on the internet. Once again, 
That's netnebraska.org. This is a free service of NET Sports, Nebraska's home for sports. And, and it's the uh, Shamrocks and the Crusaders getting ready to do battle. Two of the traditional powers. This is the seventh time they've met with a state championship on the line. Grand Island Central Catholic comes in after straight set wins. Go to 3 0 winner as well in the semifinals. And now let's go to our public address announcer with the introductions. Here's Steve Lemon. To the 2008 NSAA Volleyball Championships. Today's Class C1 State Championship match is between the Grand Island Central Catholic Crusaders with a record of 32 wins and three losses and the Columbus Scotus Shamrocks with a record of 26 wins and two losses. Now it's time to introduce the teams. First, the Grand Island Central Catholic Crusaders. Number one, Jessica Wojcik. Number two, Bailey Baxter. Number three, Katie Brand. Number four, Sarah Rogge. Number seven, Michelle Johnston. Number eight, Liz McGowan. Number 10, Steph Brand. Number 11, Katie Korgel. Number 12, Steph Ross. Number 13, Michaela Johnston. Number 14, Hannah Bolton. Number 16, Jamie Partington. Number 17, Kelly Soto. And number 18, Vanessa Rogge. The head coach for the Crusaders is Sharon Zavala, assisted by Ashley Wells and Emily Wyatt. Here are the Columbus Scotus Shamrocks. Number one, Whitney Ebel. Number two, Tiffany Haney. Number three, Sammy Spenner. Number five, Laura Zock. Number six, Lindsay McElhose. Number seven, Ashley Proprotsky. Number eight, Monica Bowding. Number nine, Katie Byerman. Number 10, Kelly Schumacher. Number 11, Mackenzie Liu. Number 12, Caitlin Kirkman. Number 13, Maggie Helbush. Number 14, Becky Hall. And number 16, Andrea Odberg. The head coach for the Shamrocks is John Peterson, assisted by Janet Tooley and Julie Blauser. Today's officials are Jason Poppleton and Kim Hefflinger. Let's play volleyball! Should be a good one, SCOTUS and Grand Island Central Catholic. Central Catholic comes in at 32 and three, SCOTUS 26 and two on the season. These two teams have squared off earlier this year. In fact, Grand Island Central Catholic lists among their accomplishments this year as beating SCOTUS in Columbus, which is certainly a tall task. SCOTUS has come back and beaten Grand Island Central Catholic since then. Shamrocks have won 12 state championships and six runner-up. Last year, a bit odd it felt down here at the state volleyball championship when a couple of the SCOTUS didn't make it down here. I think everybody looked around and said, where's all the green? It's a rarity that they are not in the finals and, and people have become so familiar with them. It's a well-respected program. And as you said, people just expect them to be here. They have 19 trips into the state finals. That's the most of any school in the state of Nebraska. Grand Island Central Catholic is second. And here they are once again squaring off. This is the fifth time they will meet in class C1 for a state championship. They've met a total of uh, seven times overall in different classes. Grand Island Central Catholic in their 15th trip to a state championship game. Six of those coming when GICC was in Class B, five of them in Class C1. 
one in Class C2 and one before they broke down Class C, and it was just simply Class C, not one and two. Eight state championships for the Crusaders. One of those coming in this class, in Class C1, that was back in 1994. Should be a great one. These two teams both anticipating this matchup with each other. They were on a collision course. I think they really, talking to both coaches, they enjoy playing each other. Again, it's that common respect. It's a great team. They're great programs. That's who we want to play. So starting it off is Katie Brand for GICC in the first serve. A little pumped up just long that'll happen in a supercharged environment in the state championship match and this is a very young grand ancestral catholic group they are really led by a group of five sophomores We've got a junior out on the court um, a senior out there but really very young one senior on the whole team that was stephanie brand the sophomore middle she delivers the kill She's somebody they're going to have to contend with all morning. She has 319 kills coming into this tournament. She is quite a strong attacker. On the slide, Byerman off the side of the block. Katie Byerman, a long history of volleyball in that family. She delivers a kill. That's a name very familiar to us as we've had the opportunity to see them in this finals match several times. She is a strong front row player. She also gets it done when she's in the back row contributing different ways from the service line and defense. Now the serve by Paprosky, Ashley Paprosky. A free ball for Scotus to work with. They'll go to Byerman again, why not? Can't get that down quick in the middle. There she is right on the line, Stephanie Brand. Brand goes up with the setter. The setter was looking like she was gonna take that ball over. You can see here she goes up, that leaves a wide open, nobody in front of Brand. Nice quick arm, string, arm swing on Brand for just a sophomore. Outside, boating, gets it to fall on the other side, GICC there. Now push it outside again. Boating can't get that one down either. Good defensive work by both of these clubs. Tip try, nope. Brand, Great over swing. Pass. Otbert was there. They tried the line again, go deep corner and find it. Wojcik, Jessica Wojcik, her first kill. Another sophomore for GICC. Boy, you're right, Kathy. This is a sophomore-laden club. One senior on the entire starting lineup. And there really isn't a concern of jitters. This is a team that um, Coach Zavala says is very non-emotional. They're about business. You're not going to see highs and lows. They're very poised. Even though they're very young, they are very focused at all times, and that's what's allowed them to play at such a high level, even though they are somewhat um, young, you might say inexperienced. Rochek can't get that down. They'll go to Boating, and Boating puts it away. Boating aggressive on the outside. Nice big swing for her. Takes that cross court. Hits the hands, but again, overpowers the block. Boating 19 kills in the semifinal win over St. Paul. She's on fire down at state. So is Brand blocked back by her there. Make it Schumacher there. Here's Boating with the tip. Don't try, no good. Schumacher with the swing, can't get it down. Good defense played by both clubs. They get hands on balls and dig a lot. On the slide into the antenna goes Schumacher. Ball a little bit wide, Schumacher catches the antennas as she's coming around, but really trying to run that quick tempo, trying to catch the Crusaders off balance. Sarah Rogge, the junior, with the serve. On the slide, Schumacher, a little missed time, Just but got it timing. over. In the middle, Schumacher again, roll shot, go. Outside, down the line, did she get it? No, just wide as Wojcik. Wojcik really trying to sneak it there. The hands are up. There's a question of if there was a touch or not. Official said no touch and out of bounds. So now to serve for SCOTUS, Sammy Spencer. Senior setter. 37 aces, that's not one of them. And you'll have that. We talked about it earlier. 
Bailey Baxter, a sophomore setter. Outside, Boating, Boating off the block, still on fire. Boating just coming up, swinging hard and aggressive. That's Again, just the power, her, her, she's just attacking right at the ball. And go outside, that's Poprosky can't get it down. Wojcik, back line, Wojcik got it. Wojcik, good read on defense. Uh, Skoda's defense was sitting in the middle of the court. She takes that high shot down the line. All even at six. Check now back to serve. There's her jump serve. Nice pass pushed outside. Swing. Paprosky can't get it down. They'll go the other way. McGowan. McGowan dug. Byerman was there. Nice try by the Great senior ball. Ball right in the setter's hands. Touch the antenna. Good idea by Maggie Hellbush, but it just brushed the antenna. John Peterson not quite agreeing with that call. As you see Hellbush looking over. Couldn't quite tell by that angle. The official said, though, it just brushed the antenna. So point to GICC, they lead by one. They'll go back to Hellbush again. Blocked back that time. McGowan there. Hellbush a little early, didn't get, didn't drive hard to that ball. Wasn't uh, her best swing. 8-6 on Wojcik serve. And the ace. Jessica Wojcik. Wojcik being aggressive back there on the baseline serving. That's one thing Coach Peterson said. Sometimes our serve reception breaks down. We cannot let that happen against a strong team like um, Central Catholic. Great servers on this club. Of those, Wojcik leading in aces with 67 coming into the state tournament. They right behind her, 66 and 65. So some tough serves, and that's what SCOTUS is looking at now. And GICC has jumped out to the 10-6 lead. Let's go down to Danny Busbrook. Danny. A year ago in Class C1, it was Orrin and Minden playing for an NSAA championship. Let's take a look back at the match for the 2007 Class C1 title. Should be a good one. Fifth seeded Minden taking on number three seed Orrin. Swing and a kill by Jamison again. Menden by three. Satorius sets Aarons. Aarons blocked back. The Orange Chanta clears up 24 17. One point away from the school's first ever state championship. That's the match. Orange wins its first ever state championship. You know, well, today we have SCOTUS and Grand Island CC, and so far it looks like a pretty evenly matched. I'm thinking, guys, this might, this one might put us behind schedule a little bit. <laughs> you might That's be happened right. before. That's These right. teams have done that to us before. That's right. Interesting that last year we go from the Whippets and the Chanticleers to <laughs> a little bit more of a traditional rivalry in the uh, Crusaders and Shamrocks. So out of the timeout. John Peterson a chance to talk it over with his Shamrocks. We'll see what they come out with as Jessica Wojcik still serving. They'll push outside. Koprosky, and she delivers. She had a nice big hold. Good identification. She pops it right between the blockers in that open lane. McGowan. Nice dig. Back row, swing a little long, but it found the back corner. Somehow, there was a, it kind of just died and dropped right on that baseline for Shoemaker. Six kills yesterday for Shoemaker, two already today. Quick in the middle, tipped over and finds the open floor, Jamie Partington. Partington, just a little a finesse shot, just taking it over the hands of the blockers. Not room for that defense to get to. GICC on top by three. They'll bring in Katie Brand now, the freshman to serve. Katie Brand, 11 aces on the year. 
on the slide. Byerman off the top of the block. Outside, McGowan again. Kep up, good coverage. Back to McGowan, tries to tip down the line. McGowan got it. Great read there by McGowan. She found the open area on the court. She's ready, she got off, was ready to come right back in for that quick attack. You can see she didn't get much of an approach. Smart play. Central Catholic on top by eight now. Brand still with the serve. Spencer pushes it outside. Paprosky off the top of the block. Paprosky, her second kill. Paprosky does a nice job going high. Blocker slow it down a little bit, I believe, as we look here, but not enough to let Brand control it. Very balanced attack right now by this SCOTUS squad. Two kills for Paprosky, Boating, Byerman, and Schumacher. Great job by Sammy Spencer, the setter, to mix it up. Here's Spencer again on the slide. Fireman into the net. They've been having a little bit of trouble, um, Columbus Scotus, as they've run that slide around the backside. A little uh, timing. You can see Byerman a little bit past the ball there, trying to come back and hit it. It's a very difficult shot to still make when you're past the ball. Out of system, they still get a pretty good swing on it. Pushed outside. McGowan can't get that down, but the overpass. Quick in the middle. She's back. Back in the front is Brand, and she delivers. And just such a quick transition. Brand is in there right away. You can see she's up in the air. Give it to me. She swings so quickly, pulls that ball down. 14-9, little joust at the net. Landed on Scotus' side. Poplowski can't get that. They'll go right back to her again. Tries the angle and got it. It's just a smart shot. She hits, takes the ball one direction. It didn't go. Makes the adjustment. It's a nice cut shot here and gets it underneath the blocker's hands. Good look there by our net camera. 14-10. Grand Island Central Catholic by four. Quick in the middle. Brand kill. Brand is just up so quick. She's up there in the air. Your middle has to really commit to her if you're going to have any chance at stopping her. She's doing a nice job also reading where the blocker is set up and hitting the rounder. Elizabeth McGowan serves. Up by five. Boating with the big swing. Overpass and over hit by Byerman. She had it hanging up there, got a little anxious. A little anxious, didn't get on top of the ball. Don't think she got full control of the ball. Just kind of the, almost a fingertip. Tough serve by McGowan, kept up. There's Boating again. This time, Boating delivers her third kill of the match. Beautiful line shot there by Monica Boating. Very clean, executed. You can just see right where she wanted it. 16-11. Crusaders out early here in set number one of the C1 championship match. And a kill by Wojcik. She has three now. Back into the game for GICC is Jamie Partington, the sophomore middle. Back to serve, Sarah Raggi. Raggi, the 5'3", junior libero. Slide, tip. Nice decision to tip by Schumacher. Schumacher, again, deep, no blocker there. The defense was sitting down, sitting hard. She's right there, just tips it nice. Short, right in front. Served by Spencer. Boy, that's about all Bailey Baxter can do with it, but she got a hand on it and got the kill. You're right. There was not much more she can do. That ball was coming tight. She just made a strong, aggressive move. Rolled it right on over. Great first set here in the C1 state championship match. Moving quickly in both teams with quality offense and great defense. That's pushed back. Schumacher didn't get it down that time. They'll go outside and right down the line. Her fourth kill, Monica Boating. Most outside attackers love that cross court. You got a lot more court to work with, but Boating is doing a phenomenal job hitting a hard hit ball down that line. Wojcik tried the same thing. Defense was there. Good coverage. Can't get the overpass. Both teams a bit out of system. There's the senior Bolton into the net. 
You got to credit the, the Shamrocks block front row. They did a great job of patrolling up the net. Balls were popping over. They sent them right back. Didn't allow Grand Island Central Catholic to get reorganized. Floor started to become a little harder to find for Grand Island Central Catholic. Scotus stepping up the defense a little bit here in set number one in the middle. Schumacher keeps it alive. Pushed outside. Leproski. Good up. No check. Tip. Spencer's there. Back to Paprosky. And she delivers. Paprosky doing a nice job also. A great compliment to Bodine out there. She hits that hard um, angle shot. Blockers really off balance across the net. Not sure where to block, what area and zone to protect. So Sharon Savala wants to take a timeout as Scotus pulls back to within three at 18-15. Well, NET has been delivering exciting sports action into your living room for many years, and now you can help us. Join the Sports Partners Club to ensure your favorite sports programs continue. To learn how to become a charter member of the Sports Partners Club, log on to netnebraska.org forward slash sports. You can receive a charter member gift certificate, a duffel bag, and a poster of that famous Matt Davison catch. Help us deliver inspiring sports action by supporting the NET Sports Partners Club Log on to netnebraska.org forward slash sports partners and become a member today. Help us to continue to bring you terrific high school and college sports statewide across Nebraska right here on NET. So many of you can't make it down to Lincoln on days like today when there are also state high school football semifinals going on around the state. And we're glad you're able to join us around the state right here on NET. So the Shamrocks slowly clawing back into it. Down now by three at 18-15. Voting with the serve. Pick in the middle. Hardington couldn't get that down. They'll have a free ball out of it though. Now back to the senior. Bolton can't get that down. And we're gonna have two hits called to the Shamrocks. Point for the Crusaders. Official felt it sat in there, bobbled off of the hands a little bit too long, maybe. Jessica Wojcik, the sophomore with the jump serve. Overpass, well set up the offense. Outside. McGowan couldn't get it down, tries it again, still kept alive. A lift called on the Crusaders. Shamrock strong block up of the net. They're really doing a, a tremendous job being aggressive up there. They feel like that's their front line of defense. They've got to slow things down. Our back row has a little more time to pursue balls. They're doing a great job this morning. Short serve takes McGowan out of the offense, but they go to the other side. Bolton. McGowan looks for the back corner, just missed. Boy, great idea off the second touch. Great idea is, is right. Just couldn't. Executed, couldn't quite get it there. 1917, set number one. Quick middle. Little confusion there. Outside McGowan, kept alive, low check. Good coverage. And great organization, that's key. Paprosky can't get it down. Wojcik there to keep it alive. Now Wojcik back row swing. Spencer was set behind her. Hellbush, no. Finally, the tip of the net by Byerman. Paprosky was also there, too. Great, um, strong play, great rally there by both teams. Staying very organized. Whichever team can stay the most organized in a long rally like that tends to come out on top. Bolton tries the back. Outside, Paprosky again. Tip blocked back by Bolton. McGowan down the line, got it, got the line. Great shot, McGowan. She knew it was there. She saw it the last time. This time she comes through, gets it in that corner. You can see the, the Shamrocks are leaving it open. And she gets it right where she wants it. 2018. Same thing goes for the Shamrocks. Corners are open. It's just a matter of executing. They've been struggling a bit as they've come around on that slide. Here she goes, stays behind the ball so she can control it. Whitney Ebel now 
into serve. Outside McGowan, McGowan into the antenna. All even at 20. What a great way to open up the C1 State Championship, and we have another timeout. Sharon Savala will take her final timeout. Savala been at Central Catholic for 33 years. A career record of 751 and 145. She won her 750th game in the first round at State. Last year, she was the 2007 National High School Coach of the Year. Staple in Nebraska High School Volleyball, and one of the reasons this program stays near the top of whatever class they might find themselves in. Just that consistency, and the thing about Coach Zavala is for 33 years, things have changed in, in high school volleyball, and she has continued to grow in her knowledge and her training of her athletes, and, and that's what's continued to elevate that program, a constant learner and a student of the game as the coach. Member of the UNK Hall of Fame. And I say whatever class they may end up because it's been kind of an up and down road for them as of late. Just five years ago, they were in C1, then they went down to C2, then up to C1, then down to C2, and now they're <laughs> back in C1 again. Five class changes and about four class changes in five years. Kind of seesawing back and forth, and again, I, I think their focus is wherever we're at, we're going to do the best that we can, and again, we'll face different opponents that just Makes us a little bit more diverse. We've seen different things. In the middle, quick, Brand puts it away. Five kills for her. Brand just really is so quick with her arm swing. She's up in the air also. I like the tempo that the team runs with her. They're capable of running that fast because she does such a great job of getting in there and eligible quickly. Bolton serve. Spencer goes back row. Boating doesn't get it down. They'll go back to... Brand can't get it down, and they mishandle the pass. All even at 21. But that's all started by that big block by Byerman up at the net. She's, she is a tremendous blocker. She's physically strong. She's uh, She works so well. She's so athletic and moves laterally so well. They will just keep feeding Brand. Good dig, though. Down the line, great shot, boating. Fifth kill. Boating keeps going to the area that works for her. That's there. It's a hot spot, and she continues to execute and get it there. Scotus takes the lead here late, 22-21. Outside, McGowan. Good dig. Odbert there. There we go to her again. Boating doesn't deliver that time. McGowan tries the roll. Back to Boating. Scotus by one. Boating again. And Good Brand dig. doing a great job digging her. Katie Brand in the back there for Central Catholic. That goes off the side of the hand and a kill by Boating, her that's, sixth. That's called perseverance. She continued. I mean, they kept pushing it out to Boating, and she did a great job every time getting off, coming in, driving hard at the ball, keep working the zone. You can see her breathing. That's about five, six swings. That's a lot of work on the outside. Scotus has come all the way back to take the lead by two after being down five here in the first. Byerman doesn't get that down. Back row Brand. Good swing by Brand under the back row. Boating again. Seven kills. Put Scotus one away. Definitely the hot hand right now is Boating. And you can see they continue to feed it to her. Why not? Set point, SCOTUS. McGowan blocked back. McGowan again. Now out to Boating, into the net. Trying to take a little bit off that. I think if she just would have gone ahead and just swing it and go after it, that would have happened. Thought just a little bit too much. 24-22 now. Ace, back line. And a timeout called by Columbus Scotus. So Scotus comes all the way back to take a three-point lead at 24-21. GICC scores two in a row, and we're one-point difference at 24-23. 
you're already using your DTV converter box or a digital television, well, remember to run a channel scan to watch all the available digital channels. Some antennas don't always provide a good picture because of placement or installation. Local obstacles can also interfere with reception, or you may need to upgrade to a more suitable antenna. In many cases, a new channel scan will solve your problem. The important thing, NET is here to help you. Call us at 1-800-698-3426, or you can visit us online at netnebraska.org forward slash DTV. Let's go down near the bench and Danny Busboom. You know, one thing that's been so impressive uh, today being down here is both these teams out of system do a great job of getting a swing, and that's real tough to do even at a collegiate level, let alone high school. Right now, Grand Island CC needs to keep their heads up. I'm, I'm really watching them close because they're right in front of me, and every time SCOTUS gets a big kill, you kind of see their body posture slump down. If they keep up, keep their body posture up and stay positive, they can come back and win this. Still set point, and it's delivered. Who else? Monica Boning gives him set number one off the timeout. Eight kills by Boning. It's set number one. SCOTUS on top, one set none. You're on vacation in the mountains. You've got the kids, the dog, and your tent. Your son says hiking is lame, so you try rock climbing. It ends up being harder than it looks. Now you're in the hospital wishing you'd stayed home. But you've got Blue Cross and Blue Shield, so you know you're covered, even though you're out of state. So you relax, which is why you went on vacation in the first place. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska. One less thing to worry about. Soy biodiesel from Nebraska soybeans lowers our dependence on foreign oil. It has properties that reduce engine wear. And it burns without harmfully polluting the atmosphere. The Nebraska Soybean Board encourages the use of soy biodiesel. Hello, I'm John Bruning. As Nebraska's Attorney General, part of my job is to protect consumers like you. There's a lot of misinformation out there about the upcoming conversion to digital television. For instance, you won't necessarily have to get rid of your existing TV. And if you get your TV signal from cable or satellite, the conversion may not affect you. For more straight talk about digital television, call 1-800-868-1868 or log on to netnebraska.org slash DTV. Hi, Kevin Kugler, along with Adrian Fiala, inviting you to join us for Big Red Wrap-Up. Kevin will review the Kansas State Husker game along with Sean Callahan on recruiting. Join us live next Tuesday on NET1 and NETHD for the next Big Red Wrap-Up. is provided in part by Nebraska Public Power District. Always there when you need us together with your local public power utility. Nebraska Soybean Board, encouraging the use of renewable biodiesel fuels for a healthier environment. For information, nesoybeans.unl.edu. Education Quest Foundation, improving access to college through scholarships, grants, and college planning services. Nebraska Elite Volleyball, training volleyball athletes for all levels of success. 402 706-4109. And by Nebraska Federation of Catholic School Parents, supporting schools that enrich Nebraska communities. Set one of the C1 Championship in the books, and SCOTUS comes all the way back from five down to win it 25-23. Let's take a look at stats from that first set. Statistically very even, as the score indicated also. You look at the kills, the digs, assists go a little bit too. Um, SCOTUS, but other than that, we're pretty even all the way down the line. Well, let's see how the Crusaders respond to having had a five-point lead late, and maybe part of the middle part. They led 17-12. And how they respond here in set number two after SCOTUS came from behind to take set number one. SCOTUS, as we said, comes in 26-2 on the season. The Crusaders 32-3. 
Right away here in set number two, they'll go to the middle, and why not go to Brand right away? She delivered sixth kill of the match. A great way to start off to go right to her, get your team going from the get go, right off the serve reception. Serving here for the Crusaders, Hannah Bolton. Outside McGowan. McGowan with a big swing, kept up. And kept alive. Nice defense by Scotus. In the middle, Brand again. Brand off the tip. Nope. Wide. No touch. Brand really having to work off of the hands of uh, Fireman up there. She really has got to go around the outside edges. Sometimes that cuts off her sharp angle. All even at one. Here's Whitney Ebel, 5'5", five, five senior defensive specialist, in to serve for Columbus Scotus. Outside McGowan, a one blocker, puts that away. McGowan took advantage of the uh, mismatch there, one on one, and took hard in the hole. Just off the touch there, you saw. And now McGowan will go back to serve. Both of these clubs very even in kills. Obviously, Boating leading the way with eight, as that's long. But both getting a lot of players involved here in the offense. And that's what really keeps the blockers off balance. And that's one thing that Grand Island Central Catholic needs to do. Their block is so strong with SCOTUS. They really got to really diversify their offense to really slow them down and, and um, help, their, help their attackers out. Now back to serve for the Shamrocks. Ashley Koprosky. Koprosky, the senior outside hitter. Four kills already in the match. Middle brand tip. Spencer's there. Spencer will take the swing now. Brand, a nice job to get to that. On the slide. Byerman long, no touch. And just frustrated. That's the timing between um, Sam, uh, Sammy Spen Spencer and Spinner and her uh, middles has really not been real crisp here as they've tried to run that slide. 4-2 now. Pushed outside. Blocked back. And blocked back again. Byerman there with a the big block. Big block by Byerman. As we said before, she does a tremendous job up at the net. Just has a great instinct and also great lateral movement. Byerman now back to serve. And off the block, the kill. Wojcik 5-3 now. Wojcik does a great job going at the hands. Uses the hands to her advantage. You can see the big blocks there. It's been a, a challenge for them. So they're using it to their advantage right now. Nice dig there in the back row by McGowan. McGowan kept that alive off the tip, and Spinner put it away. Spinner had enough heat on that ball, and she did, did made that move so quickly. Good Central Catholic couldn't control. Good decision by the senior, Sammy Spinner. She's looking at colleges and where she might play volleyball if she decides to next year. A few of these Shamrocks with an opportunity to play next year. Spinner, one of those. Paprosky and as well as Byerman all taking a look at Several options for college volleyball in the 09 season. And that just a little wide by Boating. Boating a little early on her approach. You can see she was up there running a little bit faster tempo. Just kind of was trying to keep it in, still get a hand on the ball aggressively. As we mentioned off the top, these two teams have played twice this year, both winning one of those. Crusaders won at SCOTUS, a big win for GICC. Shamrocks pull back to within one, six to five. Back to Bolton, dug by Spinner. Back row attack called. Point to the Shamrocks. I'll leave it at six. Sharon Savala, as we said, 33rd year coaching her 33rd team. Eight state championships on that resume. 
McGowan right between the block. Great up by Byerman. Now Byerman will take the back row swing. Rogge there to put it up. Another back row attack. Low check, no. Now they'll go to Hellbush. In the middle. No touch. Yep. They'll call a net violation on Scotus. So Scotus into the net. Point goes to the Crusaders. Well, blockers just being a little assertive up at the net. Defense did a nice job getting out of the way behind. They felt like it was going to be long as it was. The block, null and void, regardless. Service error, so SCOTUS now with the Kelly Schumacher serving. Outside McGowan blocked back. Byerman, Byerman there for the joust as well, but one at the net by, by Brand. Brand just a little on top of the ball, was able to push, I believe, a little higher, a little longer, just outreaches Byerman. Back row, Boating can't get it down. In the middle, Brand, big swing and a kill by Brand in the middle. That's her eighth. And I continue to be very impressed by the quick transition. Brand's up, always up there. You can see she's coming in. The blockers don't have a lot of time at all to get um, lined up and adjusted. Three ball for GICC outside. McGowan, angle, kill. Nice cut shot there by McGowan. Big block. She's got to go around. She does that, taking the underside of the middle blocker's hands. You can see she sneaks it right underneath. McGowan and Brand doing most of the damage for the Crusaders. McGowan with six kills, Brand with eight. Fireman delivers. Fireman hot early. That's her first kill since early in set number one. She now has four. You can see the timing there much better on that slide coming around behind. That's the shot she likes to hit. We're getting back in sync with it a little bit. Whitney Ebel. Quick in the middle. Brand just punches at it, knocks it over. Here's Paprosky. Paprosky into the net. Really a lot of, uh, you know, everything was real jammed up over on the left side. Paprosky had people real close underneath her. Didn't get a real good approach to the ball. Tough situation. McGowan goes back to serve. And an ace by McGowan. Call an illegal hit on the Shamrocks. Good pass there. Klatsky with the kill, she puts it away. Got to credit that one to Byerman. She was coming around the backside, making a lot of noise. Brand kind of froze, was concerned about her on that slide, leaving a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside. Now Paprosky back to serve. Brand kind of got caught in the middle, didn't know whether to... Take it overhand or underhand. Yep. On the slide, Byerman tries to tip, doesn't quite get it over. Might have been there had she just got it over the net. I believe, too, that would have probably fallen if she would have been able to get it over the tape. So for the second set in a row, GICC is out early. They're up by four. Boating couldn't get that one down. Pushed back over, kept alive. They'll go back to Boating again. Another free ball for Scotus. Byerman on the slide, and Byerman puts it down. Here you can see, here's that slide. It's a, it's a timing issue. Again, she's still catching the tape as it's going over. Not as clean as normal, but gets it done. Now Byerman serves. Well, good coverage and a nice block there. Two hits called on GICC. Scotus now back to within two. Bolton just couldn't get squared up on the ball, trying to push it to the other side, trying not to step on her teammates. 13-11, Central Catholic. Quick middle. Nice job to get that up on McGowan. Back row. A little confused, a little like Byerman, a nice back row attack going, and they stepped in front of and another free ball. Back to back free balls for the Crusaders. Old check doesn't get it down. 
Boating does. Boating, nine kills now. Boating, great adjustment. Ball is pushed inside. She works hard to get in there. You can see how she drives hard inside to get to the ball so she can make a good, strong swing. 13-12, Grand Island Central Catholic on top. The tip and nice shot by Sammy Spinner. Saw the open floor and just tipped it over. Great job. McGowan was running from the other side of the gym to get over there. Great vision, great decision. Skodas ties it up at 13. Jared Zavala takes the timeout. Well, Monday night on NET television, Oswald's Ghost draws on rare video and interviews with key players to take a fresh look at Kennedy's assassination. At 8 Central, see how public reaction and investigation into that tragedy led some to doubt our government. Then at 9.30 tonight, JFK breaking the news, takes a moving look at broadcast coverage of the tragedy and the journalists who brought news to a nation in despair. That's Oswald's Ghost at 8, and JFK breaking the news at 9.30 Central Time this Monday night on NET1 and NET HD. Of course, high school volleyball throughout the day here on NET. We started out this morning with a state championship in Class D2, Ewing knocking off Chambers. This our second match of the day. Columbus Scott is taking on Grand Island Central Catholic. The Class A match coming up next, and it's a intra-city battle. Ewing to Lincoln as Papillion La Vista takes on Papillion La Vista South. And then we close out the day in D1, B, and this evening, Class C2. So. Our second state championship battle of the day as the Scotus Shamrocks and Central Catholic Crusaders in a battle all even in set number two. Katie Byerman now serving. Whoa, check, block back. Nice block, Spinner there. Spinner, nice solid setup. She took the line. Pushed hard, straight across, seals it off. You can see great pen penetration across the net. Skodas with the lead now. They were down 13-10. They've rattled off four in a row, and finally Wojcik puts it into it, evens it at 14. Wojcik working the line there. Defensive Skodas is sitting in middle back. They've got to rotate all the way to that corner. Otherwise, that's a vulnerable area. Outside, took a little off it, but into the net. And, and again, that was really mistiming on the outside there by um, Boating, but it really drew the block into the net because he was trying to hang and stay with her. Sammy Spinner now to serve. 15-14, Shamrock's on top. Outside, here's Bolton. Once again, Boating delivers. Boating finding the gap there. That's the impressive thing about her. She's she's a consistent outside line shot hitter, but when she's got the hole, that hard angle, she can come through as well. Skoda's up by two now at 16-14. Boating again. Nope. Back to Wojcik. Wojcik found that back line. Wojcik again reading her blocking scheme across the net. That's a, that's a neat thing to watch about these teams. They're not just going up swinging. They're re reading the situation and making their shot selection accordingly. Now Wojcik, the sophomore, back to serve. This is going to be a very talented Central Catholic club for a few years to come. Nice swing, Boating, back line. 11 kills for Monica Boating. Partington is really struggling to be able to get over there and close. You can see she's struggling, leaving a gap, and that's giving Boating a nice lane to go through. Now 17-16, going back to serve for Grand Island Central Catholic, and now into the game. Rudy Corbel. Quick in the middle. Good one handed up. McGowan. Nope. Poprosky 
gets it over the kill by Ashley Poproski. Poproski's really working hard that angle. She's really pushing the defense on that side to get to their sideline with that cut shot. You can see the defense is pulled in. They stay on that sideline. They can come forward and make that play on that ball. McGowan. Nice thought. Didn't have much of a swing on it. Tried the angle and Byerman right between the block delivers. Byerman six kills, seven kills now. Big swing there by Byerman. They push her in front this time. They go that three, which is in between the blockers. She threads the needle. Skotis up by three. Good angle. Nice shot, Brand. Nice, real sharp shot there. She does a great job putting a lot of wrist snap on the ball. Not only is she taking to the right, but she gets on top of it, puts that top spin as well to knock it down short. Byerman on the slide, blocked back. Four hits, so into the net, into the net. No block, but Brand was there, intimidating. And the Crusaders pulled it within one at 19-18. Well, this will be a good one to have on DVD, folks. You can relive all the exciting action from the 2008 NSAA State Volleyball Championships with your own DVD copy. DVDs include all the player introductions, the play-by-play -play commentary, and the all-important awards ceremony afterwards. Order online at www.netnebraska.org. Click on Shop NET, or you can give us a call on Monday. Anytime Monday through Friday, 1-800-868-1868. The cost of those DVDs just 1995. Here's an always exciting and good crowd of Columbus Scotus. And you see those, well, you know what she wants to do someday, don't you? All painted up. She can't wait to get on the floor and be just like those other Scotus girls. Exactly. And, and just to grow up. And, and again, these athletes out on the floor are great role models for these young ones. They're sitting there waiting in the wings for their turn. And it's just really a tradition uh, and part of the community. And the girls, like you said, admiring and just thinking, my turn. <laughs> I yeah. could be here in a few years. Instead of going running around the block, they go out in the backyard and play pepper. Mm -hmm. They pretend to be their favorite high school shamrock. Success breeds success, as they say. And it certainly does with both of these programs, at Columbus SCOTUS and Grand Island Central Catholic. 19-8 SCOTUS on top. They have a one set to none lead. What a big swing off the corner by Byerman. Byerman's been a little bit frustrated with that slide not being as clean. And again, that's a shot she likes to hit. So she's now, they're making some adjustments. They're using her, having her go to the three here. They had her swing away on the outside. She's going to get in the action. 2018 now, SCOTUS by two. Here's Evil. Brand right in the middle, puts it away. Good read by Brand. She had um, Byerman right across the net, off to her right. So she takes a hard cut back to her left. The previous shots were going the other direction. Good adjustment by both players. McGowan serve. Outside. Locked back. Byerman was there. Low check pushes it over. They'll go to Byerman, who tips. And a lift called on Branch. She just got it with the fingertips. She's a little early there on that, too. But again, she drew the blockers up with her and into the net as they're trying to hang and get their fingers on the ball. So Grand Island Central Catholic will take a timeout. Sharon Zavala will chat it over with her club. And don't forget, Big Red Wrap-Up on Tuesday at 7 Central. This Tuesday night, Big Red Wrap-Up brings you highlights and analysis of each game. Plus, answer your calls and emails. And Husker Illustrated Sean Callahan will discuss potential Husker recruits. Big Red Wrap-Up, your inside track each week to Husker football. You can watch it on Tuesday night, 7 Central only on NET1 and NET HD. They'll be re reviewing that big Kansas State-Nebraska matchup coming up later this afternoon. Here inside the confines of the Nebraska Coliseum, it's Central Catholic trailing SCOTUS by two here in set number two. And SCOTUS took the first at 25-23. Now we talked about how long Sharon Savala has been around coaching her counterpart. On the other bench, John Peterson, every bit as long. 35 years in coaching for that man. 736 wins, 115 losses. 
He really credits a phenomenal staff for his success. And you take a look, Janet Tooley has been with him 23 years. Julie Blazer has been 18 years. He has two eighth grade coaches that have been with him for 15 and 20 years. It's that staff and consistency and knowing that they're running drills the way you want, they're teaching it the way you want. Consistency of staff is so important in developing high school and, athletes. And as you said, the consistency as far as this is what we want to be accomplished at this level. And so really the whole program collectively and at the groundwork, the base work, are some great people doing those. At, you talked about those eighth grade coaches. Mm -hmm. They are critical at a critical point in the development of these young athletes. Well, he's getting athletes in high school. It touched the antenna there, but he's getting athletes in high school who already understand his drills, what he wants done, what's he expected, the right footwork, how to run their offense. It's already ingrained in him. That's right. And that's, again, a credit to him and how he's also set up that program, that it is a full-blown program. It's not just at this at this varsity level that we do these things. These things are done throughout. You saw Janet Tooley, who is immediate left. She's been there 23 years. Outside, that's blocked back. Boating couldn't get it down. But in the middle, Spinner does. Spinner does a great job going up, being aggressive, playing tough up at the net. It's critical. Set her up there. Likes to be aggressive. Spinner's made some good decisions at key times here through two sets. One of them right there. Pushed outside. Low check down the line. Did she get it? No. Boy, that was right down the line. She didn't believe it either. You're sitting right on that line. What do you think, Kathy? I think it was probably in. in. That's what I thought, too. <laughs> yeah, That's what I thought, too. 23-20, key point. And a good one for Wojciech. She delivered that time. Comes back and gets that kill for the team. Takes it to the middle of the floor this time. Bailey Baxter served the overpass. Oh, and turns out great for Skotas. That puts him one away from going up two sets to none. A little confusion there also. Just the release of Bailey Baxter. She's going up to set. And um, really, Sarah Rogge was staying back also. So kind of just one went to free ball transition and one stayed in defense. Set point number two, and the ace does it. So the ace by the Shamrocks. Spinner put it down. And SCOTUS on top, two sets done. College doesn't just happen. You have to be a pain in a good way. Find someone to help you, like your mom, dad, guidance counselor, or teacher. Keep asking until you find someone who will. There were adults in my life who made sure I took the right classes in high school and helped me apply for scholarships. Thanks to them, I got into a great school. Someone will help you too. All you have to do is ask. This is one time where it's okay to be a pain. Working together, Catholic schools and parents are instilling a foundation for life and forming tomorrow's leaders, giving young people the tools and values they need to learn, to achieve their dreams, to grow spiritually, and to serve others in need. The Nebraska Federation of Catholic School Parents, supporting schools that enrich Nebraska communities and promoting educational choice through identity, unity, collaboration, and empowerment. Programming made possible by Time Warner Cable. Supporting local performing arts and arts education with projects like Adventure Lead and our annual Arts Immersion Project. Time Warner Cable, the power of you. Hello, I'm Jeff Beckman, and thanks to viewers like you, we've increased our membership base by over 25% this past year. Your support is vitally important to NET. Your gift provides the funds we need to produce and purchase your favorite programs year after year. Thank you again for your loyal support. NET is your public television station.
programming is provided in part by U.S. Bank, measuring success through performance, pride, products, and people. Backed by a five-star service guarantee. U.S. Bank member FDIC. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Nebraska, one less thing to worry about. Nebraska Office of Highway Safety, please remember that if you drink and drive, you lose. And by Time Order Cable, providing cable, internet, and digital phone service for your home or your business. Class C1 State Championship Battle, SCOTUS and Central Catholic. SCOTUS on top, two sets to none. Let's take a look at stats through a couple of sets. SCOTUS, you can start to see edging, pulling away a little bit um, with their kills. Um, defense, so great defense by um, Central Catholic. They're leading by just three digs, but very close. You can see also to the block of SCOTUS. That's really been an impact, not only the stop of the block, but also the mental impact that that does on the attack. So Ogbert in for SCOTUS in that libero spot. The serve will come from freshman Katie Brand. Right away, Spinner will go back to Hellbush. Ironman there in the middle, kept alive. Three ball, Scotus. Spinner sets Byerman. Byerman puts it down. Another kill for Katie Byerman. Byerman going in that three shot that in that gap again between the middle and their right side blockers. Here she reads the blockers are right on to her inside, so she turns it and takes it off the outside edge. Whitney Ebel to serve, the 5'5 senior defensive specialist. Hannah Bolton will shoot it over for a free ball on the slide. There to get the timing down there. That looked good. Nice timing there. And you can see the energy and the yes, that's what we're that's what we need. That's better. You're gonna continue to hopefully they can keep that going. They can just feed into that a little bit more as well. Quick in the middle, brand. Got a hand on it. Paprosky, nope. Pushed outside, McGowan. Nice shot by McGowan. McGowan really working hard out on the outside, takes that hard angle shot. There's nobody there on the inside, a solo block she's facing. So she really has the advantages and a lot of court to swing at. Seven kills now for Liz McGowan. Roski doesn't get that down. Brand just got a hand on it. That's all she could do with it, and it worked out. Sometimes the uh, mistiming or whatever goes to your favor. Stephanie Brand now with 12 kills. Saw Brand last year in the C2 title game as just a freshman. Thought she looked good then. Just a little long. And she's still young and just continuing, you know, I'm anxious to see how she continues to develop. Doing a tremendous job here. The Prosky serve. Middle brand. Nice dig, Odbert. Loading. Doesn't get that down. They'll go to McDowell again. She rolls it in there. Nice roll shot, McGowan with the kill. Great tempo change. Off speed shot there by McGowan. Nine kills now for McGowan. Blocked it out. It was a kill for Boating. <laughs> Big block up there, but it, the arms need to come across and see a lot of power on the ball. But you can see how the arms are more straight up there. That allows it to ricochet farther out versus downward angle. Brand can't find the open floor. Boating into the antenna. Tried that. Tried the line again yeah. and just. Turned it a little too much. Just a little too much, and, and she is really a very consistent line hitter. That's a, a shot that seems to be more difficult for high school athletes. Um, they like the cross court. You got more court to swing at, but she can hit it. Yeah, she did it again. That's 13 kills now for Monica Boating, and they take a 5-4 lead. Monica Boating with 19 kills in the semifinal went over St. Paul. Look at the last time these two teams played in a state championship match against each other it was in 2006. So it was the last time they actually played here on this floor because 
2007 would have been at the Pershing Auditorium. Mm -hmm. The only, the only Skoda Shamrock on that team back then for John Peterson was Katie Byerman. Katie Byerman was a sophomore and a member of that 2016 on the state championship team. So they just continue to develop players. Is the point I think you derive from that. Boy, good angle. That was a tough ball to handle, and Kelly Schumacher did it. Schumacher does a nice job making adjustments. She didn't get an ideal ball, but she then takes the ball and betters it. I'll leave it at six. Here's Monica Boating. Baxter, back sets, low check, nope. Bratsky doesn't get that down. Great save there, not an easy ball to keep alive even. Tip try right into the middle. Schumacher does a nice job. Again, doesn't have to be fancy, it just needs to get the job done. She does a nice job getting up there, getting her hand on the ball and controlling it. Low check off the top of the block. Kep up. Back Paprosky tip try. Bailey Baxter was there. Now low check. Better back sets. Bit off. Low check. Tip. It was touched. Kill. Low check. Six kills for low check now as she'll go back to serve. Wojciech already with an ace in the match. She has 70 on the year. And another one by Wojciech. Two aces for Jessica Wojciech. Can she get a string run in here? That would really give her team a boost here. They're hanging right in there, but they really haven't been able to make uh, a big run here as of late. And we're going to have a call into the net. Point for the Shamrocks. Evens it up at eight. Schumacher serves. Baxter back sets. Bolton. Long, no touch. A little bit frustrated there. I thought there was a touch on that, but it, you can see. One-on-one, on one. just a little long. And the ace. Kelly Schumacher with an ace. And that'll get Sharon Savala up off the chair and a timeout for Grand Island Central Catholic. We're in the third set of the C1 State Championship match. Scotus on top, two sets to none. Hello, I'm Rod Bates. If you want more information about digital television, call toll-free 800-868-1868 or log on to netnebraska.org slash DTV. Nebraska Coliseum, C1 State Championship action. SCOTUS and Grand Island Central Catholic. Outside McGowan, blocked back Byerman, and Byerman with another block. Katie Byerman again patrolling the net with Caitlin Kirkman doing a nice job setting up that solid block on the outside. They really make it difficult for attackers. You're going to have to go around if you want to get it through. SCOTUS looking for the sweep here in the C1 Championship match. Top two sets to none. That's blocked back. Two hits called on Central Catholic. Michelle Johnston in here for Grand Island Central Catholic. That's a, an adjustment in their lineup, trying to see if she can spark the team here. McGowan outside. Good job to keep it alive. Outside McGowan again, tries the angle. 
Poprosky with a nice dig, but there to put it away is Katie Brand. Katie Brand does a nice job really hustling over, getting her hand on that ball and just really keeping it in play. Very difficult. Nice strong move. Now Katie Brand back to serve. Spinner sets Byerman, who just kind of rolls it in there into the middle and finds the open floor. And that's exactly what she needed to do. Again, that timing is, is not been clean, so she's making smart decisions, making good adjustments. 13-9. Scotus. Uh, two hits called. Two hits. The attempted back set by Sammy Spinner. So a point for GICC. They pulled it within three. Here's Hannah Bolton. Spinner on the slide. Tip try. Byron can't get it down. A tough angle. McGowan did it. Into the tape. Four hits. Ball a little low on the set. She couldn't get it over the top of the net. So Bolton keeps her serve. Sharon Zavala's been around long enough that she's seen multiple mother-daughters. and She's coached mom, and now she's coaching a lot of daughters as well. A long second generation of players coming through the program. Maybe some of those mothers had some advice or preparation or words of encouragement here as they go in. You know, Katie Brand and Stephanie Brand, their mother played for Coach Savala. Now the daughters play. Jamie Partington's mother played. And it looks Sarah and Vanessa Roggie's mom played for her. Liz McGowan's mother. And John Peterson on the other bench actually coached Jess Wojcik's mom when he coached at Grand Island Central Catholic. Oh my God. So these guys have been around a while, haven't they? They've been around a while and um, good for volleyball if they stay around a little longer. <laughs> That's right. Big wind up and fire a little long by Boating. Boating being aggressive, just didn't get on top of the ball there. She had a nice open shot, just couldn't get over the top of it. It seems like GICC, as that serve goes wide, needs to find a little spark here. They just just kind of made a little lethargic here in set number three. They know they're down 2 none, but down by just one at 15 14, an opportunity to make a move here. And once you get momentum, you never know what can happen. We saw it yesterday as. Papillion La Vista South came back on Omaha Marion after Marion led two games or two sets to them. In volleyball, it's never over until it's over. And that's the thing they need to keep thinking in their head. Just keep pursuing, persevere. They've done great things. They've had an opportunity. They've taken a game, uh, match from SCOTUS this year. They're one and one or even. Wojcik off the top of the block, and Wojcik will get a kill. And now the SCOTUS fans have resorted to doing a wave. SCOTUS fans have really been, their student body, very organized here. They've been very creative. They've got cheers. They've been very positive and sportsmanlike as they've worked through. And I know Coach Peterson said our student body has been tremendous. They've helped us a lot of times because of the things they do. They're having a great time out here as well, not just watching, but trying to assist or contribute in a positive manner. A positive manner, I think, the key there, because they do so many unified chants, and they organize together, and they have certain days where they wear it. Today's a green day. That's the theme for this match. They've had a theme for every single match throughout the districts and sub-districts and district finals and state games. And that's the thing, it makes it fun for you, the whole school, you know, and for the players out on the court to see their student body up there cheering them on and also playing a vital role in the in the matches and the contest. Two hits called on the tip by Spinner. So it's back to within one. Bailey Baxter goes back to serve. Baxter just a sophomore. Little push. 
Caitlin Kirkman in the game now for Scotus. She tried that, killed. But a great seal at the net there by um, Jamie Partington. And John Peterson will now take a timeout. All even at 17 in the C1 state championship match between SCOTUS and Central Catholic. Don't forget, give us a buzz and get your DVD. You can relive all the exciting action from the 2008 NSAA State Volleyball Championships with your own DVD copy. DVDs include the player introductions, play-by-play -play commentary, and award ceremony. Order online at www.netnebraska.org. Click on Shop NET, or you can give us a call Monday through Friday at 1-800-868-1868. The cost of those DVDs, just 1995 memories that will last a lifetime. Your DVD of the 2008 NSAA High School State Volleyball Championships. There's a look at that very motivated SCOTUS crowd. And <laughs> they do get into it. A little quieter on the other side, down 2-0. Sarah Raggi. 17 all here in set number three. Baxter to serve. See if John Peterson's timeout worked. Pushed outside. Boating doesn't get it down. Baxter, Wojciech, down the line. Nice line shot, Wojciech. Wojciech does a great job keeping her hand real high. Her contact point is able to get over top the block and find that line. Maggie Hellbush now back into the game. Caitlin Kirkman. Three ball. GICC trying to open up a two-point lead. Wojciech, right of Byerman who digs it. Boating. Boating finds that back line right on the line. Good shot, Boating. One more kill to her totals. She's just doing a tremendous job finding the gaps. Just her, her decisions on her shots are very impressive. There's behind her to Bolton, and Bolton, tip, Bolton will get the kill. Fireman on the back line trying to run that down thought. Um, it got over the fingertips of her blockers and chose to let it go. This is about the point in each of the first two sets in which Columbus Scotus began to take over. Central Catholic has a lead here by one, as they have in each of the first two sets. But both times, Scotus has managed to turn it on. Now even at 19. Kelly Schumacher serving for the Shamrocks. Low check forced to bump it over. They go in front of him. Back line and a kill. Paprosky, he's been quiet since the first set, but a nice swing there. And you can see the defense of Central Catholic is really just kind of freezing, watching that ball go. Um, they need to pursue, go to that line and know for sure, but right now they're just a little bit sluggish. So 20 to 19, Columbus Scotus was down by one at 19-18. They've scored two in a row. Let's go down near the bench and Danny Buskin. Danny. No, Grand Island Central Catholic here talking in the timeout that they need a goal for everything. We've seen the last few plays, miscommunications. You can't have that when it's 20 to 19 in the state finals. I think she's just a little frustrated with her girls that this is a big game, it's a big time. Like, we, we can't be letting balls drop. And down here, it really looks like, you know, Grand Island CC kind of given up. So hopefully, coach kind of lit a fire and they can at least give a little more effort and try to get back in this game. Danny, have you sensed that? Can you sense it down there? You're right beside them on the bench and it seems a little deflated right now. Yeah, uh, it's pretty obvious, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I would say even both teams have kind of, they're all both in relaxed mode. So it's kind of surprising. We saw the first game was so high intensity. It's the end of the game and <laughs> it's less, which you'd think would be a little opposite. Well, the team that picks it up here is the team that will likely walk away with set number three. And for SCOTUS, that would mean a state championship. Let's see if Grand Island Central Catholic can hold them off. And Byerman right off the side of the block, tools the block and gets a kill. They're now up by two. Good timing there. Byerman coming around the backside, 
Again, spreading the offense out, working pin to pin. We've seen the outsides really light it up. This gives them an opportunity to swing away on the opposite end of the net. And unofficially, Byerman's 10th kill of the match. Outside, McGowan. McGowan with a nice swing and puts it down. McGowan, nice high hand contact. Nice top spin on the ball. Goes for that sixth zone, that middle back zone between the defenders. Hannah Bolton back into the game for GICC. Spinner goes in front of her. Paprosky, good dig, low check. Middle, Brand, kept alive by Byerman. They go outside, McGowan now. She has the angle, can't get it down. Paprosky there. Now back, Hellbush, blocked. Can't get that down as well. Paprosky, what could she do? Blocked back by Brand. Spinner tries back corner. Brand is there. Brand again, tip try. Spinner's there. Great rally here at 21 20. And Paprosky puts it away. That could be the kind of motivation that'll last year, rest of the match. Winning those big, long, those long rallies like that really gives your team the boost. Those are the ones you want. You gain not only the ball or the point, but also a lot of energy that you can really feed off of. 22 20. SCOTUS three away from a state championship into the net. Back into the game comes Sammy Spenner. And the serve, Hannah Bolton. Paprosky. Middle brand blocked back. Four hits. Fireman. Yes, she's staying right on her. You've got to. You know that Grand Island Central Catholic wants to push that ball to Brand. Brand can make things happen in a short time. She's sticking right with her. Ace. SCOTUS won set number two on an ace. They give themselves match point with an ace. The Shamrocks won away from their lucky 13th state championship. Block back, Byerman. Byerman on the slide. Brand was there. Byerman again tries it. Still Brand. Outside, no. Brand all over the place along the front of the net for GICC. Baxter goes to Brand. Great defense here by Shamrocks. And a great rally. Brand again. Good dig. Paprosky tries back corner. Outside. McGowan into the antenna. That's it. And why not? The Shamrocks with lucky number 13. And it doesn't matter if it's 13 or 30, it never gets old. Yeah, that's the neat thing about it. You know, each one is different. Each state championship is unique. And it's the special one for each group of girls out on the court. Good look at John Peterson enjoying the moment with his state champs. Columbus SCOTUS takes home the C1 title. College doesn't just happen. You have to be a pain in a good way. Find someone to help you, like your mom, dad, guidance counselor, or teacher. Keep asking until you find someone who will. There were adults in my life who made sure I took the right classes in high school and helped me apply for scholarships. Thanks to them, I got into a great school. Someone will help you too. All you have to do is ask. This is one time where it's okay to be a pain. You're on vacation in the mountains. You've got the kids, the dog, and your tent. Your son says, hiking is lame, so you try rock climbing. It ends up being harder than it looks. Now you're in the hospital wishing you'd stayed home. But you've got Blue Cross and Blue Shield, so you know you're covered, even though you're out of state. So you relax, which is why you went on vacation in the first place. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska. One less thing to worry about.
programming is provided in part by Nebraska Public Power District. Always there when you need us, together with your local public power utility. Time Warner Cable, providing coverage of local high school sporting events and activities on Nebraska On Demand, Channel 101. And by Nebraska Soybean Board, encouraging the use of renewable biodiesel fuels for a healthier environment. For information, nesoybeans.unl.edu. Back at the Coliseum, Columbus SCOTUS, the Shamrocks, your state champs for the medal presentation. Let's go down to our public address announcer, Steve Lemon. The Nebraska School Activities Association is delighted to have medals and trophies for both of these outstanding teams. Presentations will be made by the NSAA Board of Control members, Dr. Bob Reznicek from Omaha Westside and Max Kroger from Ord and U.S. Bank Representative Dolores Terway. Here are the awards for Class C runner-up, Grand Island Central Catholic High School. Will head coach Sharon Zavala and your assistants please step toward the middle of the court to present the silver medals to each team member. Players, as your, team, as your name is called, please come forward to receive your medal. Number one, Jessica Wojcik. Number two, Bailey Baxter. Number three, Katie Brand. Number four, Sarah Roggi. Number seven, Michelle Johnston. Number eight, Liz McGowan. Number 10, Steph Brand. Number 11, Katie Corgel. Number 12, Steph Ross. Number 13, Michaela Johnston. Number 14, Hannah Bolton. Number 16, Jamie Partington. Number 17, Kelly Soto. And number 18, Vanessa Raggi. All of you are welcome to receive the runner-up trophy for your school. Congratulations, Grand Island Central Catholic High School. And now to the champions from Columbus Scotus High School. First, head coach John Peterson, we have a special award for you. Now, coach, hand out the gold medals to your championship team members. Number one, Whitney Ebel. Number two, Tiffany Haney. Number three, Sammy Spenner. Number five, Laura Zock. Number six, Lindsay McElhose. Number seven, Ashley Proprotsky. Number eight, Monica Boding. Number nine, Katie Fireman. Number 10, Kelly Schumacher. Number 11, Mackenzie Liu. Number 12, Caitlin Kirkman. Number 13, Maggie Helbush. Number 14, Becky Hall. And number 16, Andrea Odbert. And now for these outstanding athletes in their school, here is the 2008 Class C1 State Volleyball Championship Trophy. 
Congratulations, Columbus Scottish High School. Well, the dynasty just continues to roll. Columbus SCOTUS winning its 13th state championship in a sweep over Grand Island Central Capital. Hello, I'm Jeff Beckman, director of the NET Foundations. NET Sports is pleased to bring you the NSAA State High School Volleyball Championships. Now, I'm right here in the nerve center of NET Sports Productions. The NET Remote Truck is a high-definition mobile production studio that travels throughout Nebraska to bring you NSAA high school football, basketball, volleyball, and wrestling action. Private support from viewers like you is critical to keeping NET Sports on the road. So I'm asking you to log on right now to our website and show how much you value NET's high school sports coverage. When you visit netnebraska.org slash sportspartners and join the Sports Partners Club, you're doing your part to see that NSAA high school sports coverage is available not only in your home, but in every home in the entire state of Nebraska. Now, the Nebraska Coliseum holds just over 4,000 fans. Last year, over 54,000 people watched NET's coverage of the NSAA State High School Volleyball Championships, and our audience could actually fill the Coliseum nearly 14 times over. NET is your ticket for live action and a courtside view from your own home. What's that worth to you? Please go to the netnebraska.org slash sportspartners and commit your gift of support. Now, when you log on and contribute $120, we'll thank you with an NET Sports Partners sweatshirt in your choice of blue or red, along with a DVD of Dream Like a Champion, the NET documentary that follows the Husker volleyball team through their 2006 championship volleyball season. Now, if you're able to contribute at the $240 level, we'll add the NET Sports Partners duffel bag to your package of thank you gifts, or you can choose to have your entire gift go to support NET Sports programming. Make your gift by credit card or by check or by automatic deduction from your checking account. You can pay for it all at once or you can pay for it in monthly installment. Whatever works best for your budget works best for us. Any amount you contribute is appreciated and it's put to great use, bringing you the best sports action from around the entire state of Nebraska for many years to come. Now, once again, log on to netnebraska.org slash sportspartners and show your support for volleyball action on NET television. Join the team that brings high school sports home to your community, no matter where you live in Nebraska. Whether you're a grandparent or a parent, or maybe even a classmate tuning in to support your team, NET is the one source that every Nebraskan can look to for exciting, state-of-the-art sports coverage. While you're supporting your local team at the same time, now join the Sports Partners Club and support the NET team. NET, Nebraska's home for sports, is your public television station. Your support makes all the difference. Thank you for watching and for supporting NET television. Back in Lincoln, the victorious Columbus SCOTUS fans heading out of the Nebraska Coliseum. SCOTUS winning it in three straight over Grand Island Central Catholic and now with the champs and their head coach. Here's Danny Busboom. Hey, we're here with Coach Peterson, and the, <laughs> him and these girls are pretty fired up. They can hardly stand here for the interview. But, Coach, one thing I really noticed about your team this year, I don't know about in the past, but the out-of-system play was great. I mean, you guys are always taking swings. Is that something you worked exceptionally hard on? Well, we try to. You know, we just don't like to give them a free ball back. And, you know, our kids have gotten better and better about hitting a back row attack if we need to. And, and our setter does a great job of throwing up something high that we can that we can attack. And, and we didn't make very many errors on it either. And that's, you know, sometimes you can err on those balls, but our kids just, they just did a great job. You know, and certainly uh, SCOTUS is known to have a very, very great program, but winning never gets old, huh? Oh, uh, you know, it, it's a great, it's just as good a thrill right now as it's ever been. And I think this is as exciting as a group of, I mean, these kids have gotten so excited because, you know, last year we didn't make it to the state tournament. They had a lot to prove. They want to try and get, make themselves or make themselves into a great team. And I think they did that. Uh, our student body has just been unbelievable all year. Every home game and, and all through sub-districts and districts and state play, they've, just, they've been unbelievable. And I think that's really helped our kids. We really responded. Well, certainly the student body is fun to watch. Congratulations, Coach, on a great year and way to finish it. Thank you very much. Nice job.
Well, now we have number eight, Boating. Great, great game. Thank you. I mean, you hit with a lot of power out there. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, what is Coach, Coach Peterson's been around a lot. What does he say, especially in between games two and three, to keep you guys motivated, keep the momentum on your side? Because it's easy to let a team like Grand Island come back in there. Yeah, he said that this is where we wanted to peak and that we have to keep playing our hardest no matter what, we can't get down. And so I think we did a really good job of that. Was it extra motivation not making it to state last year? Yeah, that was big. Well, congratulations on the state championship. You played great. Thank you. Next, number three, Sammy Spenner, the setter, the girl dishing the rock. Um, great job tonight. I thought you did a very good job of mixing it up to, to all your hitters. You certainly have uh, chemistry about you. I feel like all your hitters, you get along with them all. They all, you set them all great. Is that something that you know you've really worked hard on this year? Yeah, we worked hard on like our team unity because last year it didn't seem as we were bonded and I, we needed to keep a balanced offense to keep everything going. So. You know, and you were very poised out there. Is that the type of leader that you've become this year? Definitely. I've had many talks about being a leader and how poised I have to be and keeping myself under control. Well, that's great. You played great. And what does it mean to end your senior season on top? It's awesome. You can't really describe it with words. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice job, and last, we have number nine, Katie Bierman. Hi. How's it going? Great job. Thank you. After losing, I heard that you lost to GICC at home this year. Was that extra motivation here in the finals? Yeah, especially since we lost. We wanted to get back at them and just finish well. You know, at first the timing with you and Sammy Spinner seemed off a little bit. Is there anything you guys talked about? Um, not really. We just kind of, it was a little hard in the beginning to get connected, but after a while we just kind of got the hang of it and it went well. Yeah, you guys certainly play well together. And what, what does it mean for you to go out as a senior on top? It feels great. It's always good to end on a win. Okay, congratulations on the championship. Well, <laughs> well, Larry, back to you with your final thoughts. Thanks, Danny. That's an excited group of girls. When we come back, we will wrap it up, take a look at stats. The Columbus Scotus Shamrock state champs in Class C1. Programming provided by Nebraska Public Power District. My job as an engineer for the Nebraska Public Power District is rewarding. My education and technical skills are used every day to help generate electricity for Nebraska. And I feel good because I believe that what I do maintains the state's quality of life. NPPD is where I want to be. Nebraska Public Power District. Always there when you need us. Together with your local public power utility. You're on vacation in the mountains. You've got the kids, the dog, and your tent. Your son says, hiking is lame, so you try rock climbing. It ends up being harder than it looks. Now you're in the hospital wishing you'd stayed home. But you've got Blue Cross and Blue Shield, so you know you're covered, even though you're out of state. So you relax, which is why you went on vacation in the first place. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska. One less thing to worry about. Programming on NET television is made possible in part by U.S. Bank. The U.S. Bank Corp. Foundation supports charitable, educational, and community service-oriented organizations in communities across Nebraska and the nation. U.S. Bank employees dedicate their time and efforts to local causes they are truly passionate about. U.S. Bank. Wherever you go, you'll find us. Soy biodiesel from Nebraska soybeans lowers our dependence on foreign oil. It has properties that reduce engine wear. And it burns without harmfully polluting the atmosphere. The Nebraska Soybean Board encourages the use of soy biodiesel. You know, this TV is 10 years old and the picture still looks great. But if you watch TV using an antenna, you might need to make some changes. That's right. In February 2009, America is improving the way it broadcasts television. The new system looks great, but to watch it on your old TV, you're going to need to buy a converter box. Fortunately, you can get a coupon to help you pay for the box. And your favorite PBS shows will look better than ever. Hello, 
I'm Jenny Herstein, and thanks to viewers like you, we've increased our membership base by over 25% this past year. Your support is vitally important to NET. Your gift provides the funds we need to produce and purchase your favorite programs year after year. Thank you again for your loyal support. And we're back at the Nebraska Coliseum. You see the teams on the floor preparing for the Class A state championship, which will happen momentarily. But first, let's step back and talk about the Class C1 state title, which just concluded. Columbus Scotus knocking off Grand Island Central Catholic in three straight. And really nothing to be ashamed of when you look at Grand Island Central Catholic. That is an extremely young team. And I have a feeling we're going to see them back down here in Lincoln a couple of times in the next two years. I agree with you. They really worked hard. They did a nice job. They worked their way to the finals. Very seldom does a team loaded with that many young players get to the finals. They played very well. As you see, the scores indicated that also 23, 21, 21. So they were right there all the way. I think their future looks pretty bright. Just one senior in that starting lineup for Central Catholic. On the other side, Columbus Scotus with a couple of seniors that really helped lead them. Byerman, one of those, and also uh, Monica Boating. The two of them played a great match today. Boating really was hot on the outside. She really seemed to be the go-to girl, but um, Byerman, again, patrolling the net. She's up at the net. She's such a force. She's that first line of defense that really sets um, the, the standard as far as um, how hard we work. We are up here to stop you and really just her leadership. She had experience here, and for her to go out after being here previously in her senior year, couldn't cap it off with anything better than a state championship. And I should say Monica Boating is just a junior, so she will be back as well. And Byerman, obviously, the senior there. Let's, uh, let's recap it. Let's take another look back uh, to music of the C1 state championship match. 